some lines. So your grip is like a little more out, which it's like that's fine for the most part, but if you want to get your upper back, like your shelf, if you will, as tight as possible, I mean, you can bring it in, but it's up to your shoulder mobility. I like it wider because I find it can squeeze my back harder. Um, if I go any farther out, then it's all loose. And another thing is, um, all right, so like you set your grip, then you're coming on your new tier, and you are creating pressure, which is awesome. That's exactly what you should be doing. But then it's kind of like you come underneath and you still have that slight space and then you stand up. So you want to try to keep that pressure the whole time here. Take your breath in. And then stand up that way. Yes. And this one looks good. And that's where everything's most comfortable. Yeah. So for here, right now, I need you to try to get this squeezed in even harder. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because the, the tighter you keep your upper back, the less heavy it's going to feel. And then just move over to the right. So squeeze this as hard as you can. But keep one leg back so you're maintaining that pressure against the rack. Does that make sense? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you feel the squeeze together. Everything's pressed against the rack hard. And push everything looks good. So breathe in now. Then come underneath but maintain that pressure. And stand up. Yeah, and then relax. <laughs> yeah, I feel like your hand and bar placement is good. Because again, like if you're more comfortable with high bar, like this time. Again, we're gonna be doing like a lot of repetitions, so I'm not gonna over fatigue yeah. you, so we'll keep it light for now, but at least so that way you can feel weight on your back. Yeah. Because I find if I don't have at least a plate on there, like everything feels off. The thing I've kind of noticed over the last two years for powerlifting is that you're trying to, like again, like every every step that you take is for a reason, and you're trying to minimize the distance between you and the weight itself. So what you're currently doing with your hand placement, that's good. Bar placement, everything's good. And then you create pressure against the rack, which is perfect. But then again, like you're kind of coming underneath, like you're squatting down underneath the bar, then you're breathing, and then you're standing up. And you can kind of get away with it when it's light, but once it starts to get to like whatever, two, three, four hundred pounds, you want to keep that pressure against the weight so that way there's no, uh, there's like slack, if you will, for every movement. So set your grip, create that pressure against the rack, wedge yourself in. Like I pressed to, you see how the rack's moving right now? That's much pressure I'm creating against it while squeezing my shoulders together. Then I take my breath in now, because if you take your breath in here and you're still creating pressure, your ribcage is kind of, yes, I can speak. Your rib cage is compressed. So it's create the pressure here when it's open. And then stand up that way. This one is good, yes. Squeeze all this together as if there's a pencil between your shoulder blades. A little more to your right. Create that pressure against the rack right hard. Taking your breath now. Come on, me and stand up. Good. And then walk it back in. Right now we're just gonna practice the underwrite itself. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So, um, when you got a ton of weight on your back, you wanna minimize the amount of movement that you're doing for the unwrap. Because the more you're like wobbling around, A, you're wasting energy, and then B, you're gonna have to stabilize and settle all that weight before you can squat anyway. So I want you to, when you're doing your walkout, try to bring it down into three steps. And so instead of unrack, walk it back, settle, 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 whatever, and then squatting, because then you're taking like five, six steps, I want you to do it in three. So set your grip, wedge yourself in. Take that massive breath, come underneath, stand up. I want you to step back diagonally, step out, and then one more if you need to adjust your stance with. Then from there, you're just letting the weight settle before you actually squat. Good, grip set, nice. Pressure against the bar, good, keep the upper back tight. 
Big breath. Come underneath, stand up, step back, step out, and then settle. Walk it in one more time. All right, you're like super close, and yeah. now you're just trying to get used to only taking that minimal amount of steps. Yeah, that's what I completely forgot. It's all good. Let's do it one more time. Good, grip set, nice. Pressure, tight upper back. Good, take in a breath. Keep the pressure, come underneath and stand up. Step back, step out, and now one more for just, yeah, yeah. All right, cool, relax, and then walk it in. Yeah, so sometimes like you might have to take like baby steps here and there, but again, you wanna to try to minimize the amount of movement because then you're gonna save energy and then um, you won't have to stabilize the whole time as the weight's going. All right, very nice.